every runner knows that you don't win races with legs, you win them with heart. Running really isn't a lot of fun, it's a lot of pain. <laughs> on this day, dozens of runners have descended on St. Paris, Ohio for the Graham Invitational Cross Country Meet. Track and cross country are sports that some take for granted, but here in Champaign County, they take notice. Back in the 70s, starting in 76, we had the boys had four consecutive state titles. So it just became a big sport in our community. Ann Vogel is the head women's track and cross country coach at West Liberty Salem High School, the top ranked team in the area. They also have the top ranked runner. 18-year-old Megan Vogel has been running for as long as she can remember. Well, my mom's been coaching for 20 years, and I went to my first cross-country meet when I was four weeks old. At the Graham Invitational, she not only started in front, she finished that way, covering the 3.1-mile course in a personal best time of 1846. 1846! But winning is nothing new for Megan Vogel. Jesse Owens Stadium on the campus of The Ohio State University was the site of the 2012 Ohio High School State Track Championships. Though just a junior, Vogel was one of the top seeds in the 1600 meters. My junior year, that's kind of when things started cooking for me. Megan was in third place going into the last lap. Out of the three girls she was running with, those three, she looked the most relaxed and most ready to make her move when she needed to. And then with 300 meters to go on the last lap, I just kind of kicked it in. At the right time, in the right place, she ran her personal best, four minutes and 58 seconds. And Megan Vogel was a state champion. I couldn't stop crying when I crossed the line. I mean, to, to finally achieve something that you've been working for basically your whole life, it's just, it's unexplainable. I mean, we just hugged and obviously shed quite a few tears, and I mean, it was just a special moment. By winning that race, Megan became the first girl from her high school to win a state track title in more than 20 years. But when people talk about that day, they don't talk about the race where Megan finished first. They talk about the race where Megan finished last. Just 25 minutes after collecting the trophy for the 1600 meters, she had to collect herself and get ready for the 3200. That's what's pretty tough about in between the two races. Among her opponents in that event was a promising 16-year-old from Finley, Ohio, named Arden McMath. We saw her coming up in junior high and thought, hey, we might have something here. This is the state patch. Though just a sophomore, McMath started accumulating ribbons and trophies. This is from my BBC meet. As a freshman at Arlington High School. Trained a lot more in the mornings. I started running like every day. She's disciplined and uh, motivated and perfectionistic. When their race began, Vogel and McMath had never met. By the time it was over, they were linked forever. For the first half of their two-mile run, both runners were right in the thick of things. But soon, they both started to fall behind. It was a lot quicker than I usually go, so I definitely wasn't used to it. So I kind of looked at my mom and I shook my head like, this is not going to be a very good race. At this point, Arden's only goal was to finish the race. And then the unthinkable happened. When I first saw Arden go down, I, it was a little disbelief, you know, that's just not Arden, she doesn't, she doesn't do that. I think we both, I, I was sick to my stomach. Arden McMath had pushed herself so hard, she just collapsed. She went down, got up, then she went down again. And it all happened right in front of Megan Vogel. I had 100 meters to go to the finish line on my last lap, and. I noticed Arden had fallen in front of me. In her entire life, according to her mom, Vogel had never finished last, and she could have kept on going. She could have, but she didn't. She just all of a sudden was there, and I, I didn't know what was going on at first, and then once I realized, I was pretty amazed. I didn't expect that, definitely. Instead of running past her, Vogel ran to her, helping McMath to her feet. Then, with her last ounce of strength, carried her the final 30 meters across the finish line, making sure that McMath finished ahead of her. That just kind of got her across the line and just shoved her a little bit and then put her arm back around my shoulders. As it turned out, Megan not only lifted Arden McMath that day, she lifted everyone who saw it happen. People just started coming up to me and it was kind of overwhelming because I just it's like, it wasn't that big of a deal, I just helped her up. After about an hour in the training room, McMath finally felt a little better. 
and a little embarrassed. But upon reflection, she was happy to be a part of an inspiring story. I think it was a really good thing. She definitely showed a lot of people what um, high school sports are all about. Megan Vogel is hoping to go back to Ohio State next spring, but she won't need another state title to prove she's a champion. I don't think that she um, thinks that what she did is all that terribly outstanding, but obviously the rest of us do. There are different paths to every finish line, and some leave a trail. To everyone who saw what she did that day, Megan Vogel will be remembered as the runner who was a winner even when she finished last. I'm very proud. I'm very proud of her, obviously. Always am.